I also got another package. Ooh, that hit my eyeball. Um, in the mail today. <laughs> Good morning everybody happy Thursday I'm going to be filming a really quick clip right now because um, I'm about to go do something with uh, somebody I'm filming something with somebody very soon in like 15 minutes um, but I just filmed a bunch of clips for a reading vlog I'm doing and I ended up filming an alien romance recommendation video for you um, and that will be up probably Saturday if I get it edited in time. But yes, I ended up film filming finally an alien romance recommendation video for you. I've read so many alien romance books, but they were most of them all written by the same person. And I really wanted to diversify myself when it came to authors, when it came to alien romances. So I had to read more alien romances from different authors before I put together a compiled list in a video format. It was really fun. I even talked about alien romances in a while and I want to read more of them. So if you have more alien romances for me, please go watch my video whenever it comes out. And if I don't talk about one of those books, comment it down below. So what I've been doing other than making cards, obviously, is I've been putting together this journal I have. My journal is basically kind of like my Goodreads list, but in a more concise way that I can look at and make videos off of. Like my Goodreads list just has all of the books in that category. Whereas in like my journal, I have like 10 books on this list. Like here is like my anxiety rep one and this is just like 10 that I could talk about in a video because there's so many books on my lists on Goodreads that I don't really know which ones to pick ever to talk about in a video and so um like I just started this one yesterday that I still have to fill out like here is an MC romances list and I haven't read enough to fill out the whole list but um, after I finish a book I'm gonna go through all of these lists and write out which book goes in each list and everything so um, I've been loving that format and I really like that for filming and it makes like filming so much easier for myself I really recommend that so like here we have like books with pets and like big city romance and like just like more concise versions of my good lists. Um, so I've been working on that, but I've also been working on cards. I got two done last night So I sent those in the mail today and I have more to work on today I want to do at least two I want to get all of them done as soon as possible because I want to get them out to my friends and then I ended up finishing This book last night, but I just filmed the clip for the end of that reading vlog that I'm talking about um, still have one more book to read for that reading vlog. Um, the book is This book you can't see it <laughs> Uh, but the audiobook isn't in from the library and I don't know if I want to physically read a chunky monkey 500 plus page book right now because that literally might put me into a reading slump because reading physical books at the moment is not my thing um, like this is the first one that I've read in a very long time physically so I have to go set up my computer and everything and get ready to zoom with a friend so I'm going to go do that okay it is later so I just finished uh, my zoom chat with somebody that will be coming out in January I also forgot to update you about last night um, and how I was feeling I'm feeling way better this morning um, I don't know what happened sometimes I just have little flare-ups sometimes where I'll just feel really faint at instances and need to lay down for a little bit because I've been working too much or standing for too long I honestly think it's because not yesterday but the day before that I made macarons I was standing for too long, for way too long making all of those. And um, I feel like it got to me in the butt. <laughs> and so um, that's what, also I forgot to mention, when my friend was here, my like my two best friends were here um, visiting me a couple days ago, last weekend. I'm going with one of them to Disney. The other one is not coming to Disney with us. Uh, she's going to do something else. Um, I'm going to Disney and I was asking her, I was like, how are we gonna stand in lines with everything if I can't stand in a line for that long? Like that's just not physically possible for me unless like people at Disney want me to faint. And she's like, wait a minute. And so we looked into it and we may not have to wait in lines at Disney, which sounds great to me. <laughs> but yeah, I was very worried about that. Like right when she was here, I had to mention it to her cause I was like, um, I don't wanna faint while I'm waiting in line for a ride. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> um, so when I was doing macarons, making macarons yesterday, I was walking around, I, I felt all the blood pooling in my feet and I was like, oh, uh, I think I've been standing for too long. But then I was also, I had to take things out of the oven. I had to make stuff. It's just, it's a, like, it's a hard thing to balance, you know, um, cause I've gotten into cooking and baking recently and 
my mom and I are watching the Great British Baking Show and like those people are standing for so long baking and cooking and I'm like, I turned to my mom and I was like, I could be on that show. I need a stool to sit in the whole entire time that they're filming that. Like I could not. Like they're standing for four hours, five hours making a wedding cake. Like how can you stand for that long? Like I would faint many times. So, <laughs> so that's my whole spiel. But overall I'm feeling way better today. Um, I felt more fatigued today, but that's just normal, so. I also got another package, ooh, that hit my eyeball, um, in the mail today. <laughs> um, this is, I believe from Jen, she sent me something else, which is crazy. Um, you do not have to do that, Jen. You are so freaking sweet. Okay, so let's see what this is. <gasps> Yay, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, she talks about this book so much. Oh my gosh, she talks about this book so much. Okay, I obviously had to send you one of my favorite reads of the year. There be dragons and loads of sensual, sexual tension, sorry, from Jen. <gasps> we have A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Milla Vane. I have heard amazing things about this book, specifically from Jen. I believe she just now reread it. Man, what is it with these books smelling amazing? This one smells amazing too. <laughs> but I'm putting this in the book. Um, This one is a fantasy romance, I want to say. I kind of want to read the back with you. Let's see. I know that she talks about this so often. Though so forbidden by the Alliance Council to kill the corrupt king responsible for his parents' murders, Maddox vows to avenge them, even if it costs him the Patharthian crown. But when he learns that it was the king's daughter who lured his parents to their deaths, the barbarian warrior is determined to make her pay. Ooh. Yet the woman Maddox captures is not who he expected. Despite being the last in line of a legendary warrior queen, is it Yven? Yvine? I'm not sure. Is small and weak, and the sharpest weapons she wields are her mind and her tongue. Even more surprising is the marriage she proposes to unite them in their goals and to help them claim their thrones. Because her desire for vengeance against her father burns even hotter than Maddox. So this has like, I really wanted to read this and had this on my wish list because this has like, a barbarian-esque to it and if you didn't know I love barbarian-esque books so I love I just I, I love barbarians and so this one just sounds so good and I know that Jen has talked about it so much so thank you so much Jen I'm gonna go text you thank you because you are so sweet ah. so yes I just finished filming that with a friend and I finished my um, alien romance video filming it I should probably go edit that but right after i finished filming something with my friend i got a notification from ruby dixon herself that um the new ice home book came out today which is bridget's bane so i think you know where we're headed with this i think we're gonna be reading this <laughs> this just is like serendipity and how uh, i made my alien romance book recommendations today and this came out today without me knowing i didn't even know it was coming out today we're gonna go do that this is book number 13 in the Ice Home series. So I'm gonna go eat some lunch probably, possibly go take my iPad outside if it is charged. I gotta charge it first and read some Ruby Dixon outside in this cold, beautiful weather. Hello, we're actually going to be going to the lake, the neighborhood lake again, cause my iPad was at 5%. So I couldn't go out and watch the dogs while reading my book outside. So I'm going to be um, packing my bag up full of books that I want to take to the lake to take pictures of. Is this bag big enough? I don't think this bag is big enough. Let me get a better bag. <laughs> okay, I got a bigger one. Let's transfer those books into this one. Okay, so we're gonna bring some books to the lake. I'm going to take some pictures of them and maybe if my iPad is charged in time, um, I can read on my iPad over there because I really want to read that, ooh, that just moved. I really want to read um, that book that I was talking about, the Ruby Dixon one. I always bring a few books, maybe too many because um, sometimes certain books just don't work at that moment. And so let's pick another book. I got this packed and ready to go so let's go to the lake so i'm at my neighborhood little lake here um i'm checking to see if nobody's around <laughs> and something that i found out 
last weekend when I was with here with my friends, we went on a picnic here because there are picnic tables. There is a little free like library here, like on the little patio here. So when you open it up, there are books. I've read the ones that I am even interested in. Like there's um, the Hunger Games, um, and that's like it. I see an Agatha Christie book. Um, I just see a Catherine Coulter book. This book? Um, if you know anything about that, is this a romance book? I don't know. Um, but I thought it'd be cool to maybe to put a book in here. I don't know what book yet, so we will see. But the only book that I'm interested in, but I've already read it, is The Hunger Games in here. All of them are like adult books and there's a kid section down here but yeah okay y'all it is later i posted my bookstagram picture and i really like it it's really cute um which you saw probably at the beginning of this video <laughs> i took a bunch of other cute ones i went to the lake took some pictures i have just been hanging around my house i completed one more card and i went and put that in the mailbox um even though it's nighttime i still wanted to go walk to the mailbox <laughs> to go put it in there this is the first time our mailbox is like one that's not attached to our house and you have to like walk all the way to the end of the drive and put it inside the mailbox and put the little flag up. We've never had that before. <laughs> so my goal for today, for the rest of the night, cause it is 6.30, I am going to edit this vlog and make as many cards as I can. We'll see how far I go. I might have to stay up really late getting as many cards done as I can because I wanna knock them all out and I have a full schedule of what I want to do tomorrow and so while i do that i don't really want to start a new book um so this vlog doesn't really have that many book on how that much book content in it i did download it's a beautiful secret beautiful player no it's beautiful secrets by christina lauren the one with the british cover on there um i downloaded that one because that one came in through the library so that's gonna be my next audio listen because chasing cassandra is not ready yet i still have a hold um, there's only one person in front of me so I'm gonna be listening to that I don't know if I'm gonna be listening to that tonight because remember how I said at the beginning of vlogmas that possibly my goal by the end of vlogmas or the end of the year was to get my watch later playlist down to a zero we are finally in the double digits because we've been in the triple digits for a while so I'm thinking that I make as many cards as possible and watch as many booktube videos as possible at the same time let's see if we can do it let's see so I'm going to go do that. I believe I only have 11 or 10 left. I don't know if I can get all of them done. The most that I've done in a night is five. So <laughs> let's see. It also depends on how intricate the book cover is that they love and how in how intricate it is and how much detail I have to put into it because some of them are pretty simple. Like I had to do a cover of The Book Thief, which was literally just the text that I had to do and I smudged it up a little bit and there was the cover. And then like one like Nicole's who was Indigo Bever by Beverly Jenkins was a, uh, that one took me a while. <laughs> there, because there's so many little details in there, but it, they're honestly so much fun to do though. So I'm gonna get to doing that and then I will update you at the end of the night for my last update. Hi everyone, it's the last update for the night. Um, I just wanted to close out this vlog for the day so I can get it uploaded and edited. I ended up fully completing one card and then I completed all of the handwritten notes for all the other cards. So I got half of all of them done and now I have to just do the um, drawing part of the cards which is honestly really fun and so I got all of the personalized letters out of the way and now I can just stick to drawing stuff and so my watch later playlist is like I like I want to say like 66 right now, which is freaking awesome. And I think I want to put on uh, The Vampire Diaries right now because I'm kind of like booked out at the moment. And so I'm going to put The Vampire Diaries on while I do some art prints. We'll see how many I can do tonight. I also have to take a shower and um, upload this. So we're going to get to doing that. But thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow with my alien romance recommendation video so stay tuned for that posted on saturday thank y'all so so much for watching bye y'all